Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to use PULP. In this video, I will demonstrate how to hard code a simple LP model. Let's begin with an empty file on Jupyter Notebooks. In this video, I assume that you have already installed PULP on your computer. So let's start importing PULP by typing from PULP import star. If PULP is installed and if we run the cell, we are not going to get any errors. The model we are solving is displayed on the right hand side. Let's write the model on another cell. Start by initializing the LP. Type prob equal LP problem. Note that the functions on PULP are case sensitive, so in LP problem, both L and P are upper cases. The first argument inside the parenthesis is the problem's name, which I will call problem underscore one. The second argument is whether this is a minimization or a maximization problem. In our case, it's a maximization, so we should type LP maximize. Our next step is to define the decision variables. Let's call them x. Use the function lpvariable.dicts to start including the variables. The first argument is a string with the name of the variable. Write x within quotes. The second argument is a list with the indexes. Since we have only x1 and x2, our list will include numbers 1 and 2. The next argument is the lower bound. Our decision variables are positive, so we must type low bound equal zero. The final argument is the category of the variable. We have to specify whether they are binary, integer or continuous. In this problem, x is continuous. Before we move to the next part, I want to show you a trick. If you type print x and run the cell, the dictionary with all the decision variables in the problem is going to be printed. This is helpful when we have larger problems and we want to make sure that we are using the correct decision variables. Let's add the objective function. Type prob plus equal 10 star x1 plus 20 star x2. Let's check if the objective function was properly included in the problem. Type print prob. Nice! As you can see, the objective function was added to the LP. Let's continue and add the constraints. To add constraint 1, type prob plus equal minus x1 plus 2 star x2 less than or equal 15. Then, for constraint 2, type prob plus equal x1 plus x2 less than or equal 12. And finally, for constraint 3, type prob plus equal 5 star x1 plus 3 star x2 less than or equal 45. Notice that we do not need to add x1 and x2 greater than or equal 0 because we have already determined on the decision variables that they are positive. Now, let's solve the model and display the results. Start by typing prob.solve to solve the model. As you can see, the output is 1, which means that the problem is optimal. However, we need to know more. Create a variable status equal prob.solve and then print lp status status. This command will display that the solution is optimal. Let's conclude printing the decision variables. Type for var in prob.variables. Print f uh, between case uh, var.name equal, inside case, var.var value, and now if you run the cell, you find that x1 is going to be 3 and x2 equals 9. 
Are you trying to learn about PULP? I have a playlist with several tutorials. I will leave the link in the description and I will wait for you on the next video.